name is Zena. I'm here this morning in front of Crane Point. We're here for a Hope Walk. We've got lots of people checking in. We have Baptist set up inside. And we're all about raising funds for research for American cancer because research is the only way we're going to put an end to cancer. So we're, we're very grateful that Crane Point has allowed us to use this beautiful venue. And we're here working hard, and it's going to be a beautiful day. We have Mr. Bardis here playing some beautiful music, and our mayor, Robin Still, is here to MC. Special guest, Chrissy Caldwell, breast cancer survivor, will be cutting the ribbon. Good morning. Uh, it's 2024 Hope Walk. Beautiful weather for it. Good turnout so far. So it's uh, going to be a great day. Hope everybody stays safe and, uh, you know, fight against cancer. Good morning, I'm Robin Steele, your Mayor for the City Marathon. But other than that, more importantly today, I am the MC for the Hope Walk here at beautiful Crane Point. We're getting ready to walk. This year is different, it used to be called the Hope Walk, but now it's called, I'm sorry, the Strides Walk. Now it's called the Hope Walk because we're walking for all forms of cancer. I don't think there's any of us that have not been touched in some way, shape or form by cancer. My father passed away from cancer, so this is near and dear to my heart as well. I'm excited to be here. I'm honored to be asked to MC, and I'm looking forward to walking. I'm Linda Lowe, and I got diagnosed with breast cancer 20 years ago this month, double mastectomy, chemo, radiation, reconstruction, the whole thing, and I'm happy and blessed to be here 20 years later. All right, guys, this is Alex Rickert, your marathon editor for Keys Weekly, coming to you. We're just about to kick off in a couple minutes here the 2024 Florida Keys Hope Walk. So it used to be known as the Strides Walk. You'd see everybody walking down US-1. Uh, the Hope Walk now has been expanded to honor survivors and people battling all forms of breast cancer or any type of other cancer. But we, we still keep the little uh, traditional pink garb. So it's a huge event. Tons of people come out. We're going to have a little fun with it. Hey, this is Ray Wood. We want to thank y'all for coming out here to the Hope Walk. There's a lot of people here. We're having a good time. We're about to do the Hope Walk for the cancer people. My wife's a survivor. we got many survivors out here. And I just want to thank everybody for being here. And I'd like to tell everybody to know to come on out and help us out. Ray Wood from Marathon City Council. Thanks, and y'all come on down. Good morning. I'm Charlotte Quinn. I'm here at the Hope Walk, which is at Crane Point Museum and Nature Center. We are getting ready to walk a mile and a half round trip for the cancer research so that we can find a cure. I hope we find it in my lifetime. You know, sometimes life throws a curveball. And I had a curveball last year with my sister-in-law passing in January, my aunt in March, and my sister in June. So the, we changed this walk from the Strides Walk, which was to find breast cancer research, we changed it to the Hope Walk, which is for all cancers. So I'm hoping and praying every day that we find a cure. Have a great day.